Hi guys, today's project is a little bit different from my normal uploads. This is a heart-shaped canvas that I found at an art store here in Tokyo. And today I am painting Frankenstein's monster and also the Bride of Frankenstein. This is the heart-shaped canvas at this particular art store. There were many other shaped canvases. I have never seen anything like this in person. I have seen them on Amazon and online, but never in person. So of course, I needed to get it. My first layer is sort of a jumble mix of the white gesso and Liquitex acrylic paints. I'm just using a spoon to scoop out my Liquitex onto this palette. I'm not sure if this is the way everyone does it, but this is the way I learned to do it, and this is the way I am showing you to do it. While gesso directly from the container is normally very, very thick, mine is already thinned out, so it mixes very well with the Liquitex acrylic. With the first layer completely dry, I am now adding the second layer. It is a piece of one of my paint scraps dipped in the olive green Liquitex. Aside from this initial outline, I am doing no more line work and this line work is done with white chalk. This is the darkest Liquitex blue I could find and I am using it in place of black. This is a Liquitex medium that slows the drying time of the paint. I am adding it to a few different colors, the white and the darkest blue in particular. So now if you see any fine lines pop up on this painting, it has been thinned out with this medium. Now, from the very first line of this eye, I knew the placement was off, but I really, really wanted this to work somehow. So at this point, I'm going to continue to add detail to it, assuming it is going to work.
You see me jump from the background to the foreground, back and forth, back and forth throughout this entire project. Okay, so I finally had enough of this eye. It is time to paint over it and give it a little time to dry. I'll come back to it and see if I can fix it. Okay, finally ready to go back to Bride of Frankenstein's Eye. I'm pretty sure I'll have better luck this time. Eyebrow was a little bit off, but that is an easy fix. I like to use my fingers a lot to blend the thicker acrylic paints. Of course, if you have a dry brush handy, that is probably a much better option, but I don't always have dry brushes around me. It's like I use every single brush and they're always wet.
Her lips are also a little bit too lush, so I need to make them a little bit smaller. The word monsters might be a nice touch on this painting. After all, these are both monsters. A few tiny bits here at the end on Frankenstein's monster, making some of the lighter parts lighter. The Liquitex Red Oxide is also a really nice color. It complements the olive green and buff titanium. And this is the complete Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's Monster painted on a heart-shaped canvas. If you feel like these paintings are inspiring you to paint or if they are helping you to paint, then be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, all of my contact information is down below as there are links to all the products used in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great week.